Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. So in this video we're going to talk about how you can correct if your search icons are floating to a new line and you want them to be aligned over to the right of the search input field here. And we can also uh, adjust the height of this search field so it's more in tune with the buttons here. So one thing I like to do when correcting issues like this is use uh, Firefox and a debugging tool called Firebug. So if you're not familiar with this, go ahead and search Google for Firebug. And it's an extension that can be installed for the Firefox browser. So once you have that installed, if you right click the search element and then choose inspect element with Firebug, it'll bring up this dialog here and you can see that our input field is selected. And then over to the right we have all the styles that have been applied to the input field. So some of these are from the plugin and others are inherited from the theme style sheet. So if we scroll down we can try and find what the conflict is and for this theme it's this right here which is width 100 percent so if we change this to 80 percent we can see that the icons are no longer floating to a new line now firebug is a front-end tool so it doesn't actually officially change anything for the site it just changes the view of our current web page here if we want to apply this CSS change to the site, we'll have to add some custom CSS and let's go ahead and do that. So first thing I'm going to do is copy the class name of this input field here which is EG Search Input. And next thing, let's head over to our essential grid and you can see in the nav filter sort tab I have a filter and search added here. If we click on skins where it says navigation choose skin we can click on edit skin and this is uh, the CSS for this particular navigation skin which is minimal light skin. So we can go ahead and add some custom CSS here that will be applied to this specific navigation skin. So I'm going to copy that class name and give it a dot since it's a class. And then I'm also going to preface it with this minimal light class name which is the class name of our skin. And then also add the input HTML element here before EG search input to make sure that it overrides the theme style. So let's go ahead and add width 80% and then save navigation skin and reload the page and now we can see that it has officially been applied. So now let's go ahead and make this field a little bit shorter so it's more in sync with these buttons here. So I'm going to right click inspect element with firebug and here we can see our new custom style applied. So let's adjust the paddings for this input field. We can go ahead and do that by just double clicking right here. We can enter a new property for this style. And let's see, four pixels for the top, ten for the right padding, four pixels for the bottom, and ten for the left. And we can see that that's looking much better now. So let's go ahead and add that to our navigation skin. Okay. 
save the skin and let's see if the change was applied yep so now it's looking much better alongside these buttons so lastly if we want to move this search icon a little bit over to the right we can inspect the element here and it's this EG search submit class so let's go ahead and copy that class name edit skin I'm going to preface it with minimal light EG search submit give it a margin left of 5 pixels and let's see if that took effect reload the page and we can see now that it's a little bit spaced over to the right okay thanks for watching